how well your web store navigates is critical to your customer satisfaction. If your web store is disorganized, you are going to hinder the success of your business. So make sure that your web store is well structured. In SAP Business One, you can create item groups to classify items into groups that describe the nature of an item. For example, electronics, computers, mobile devices, or whatever you are selling. When you create an item group, you can specify the parent item group. This means that the item group that you are creating belongs to the parent item group as a child node. By creating the item group that belongs to some parent item group, you can create the two-level hierarchy. Any item group can be made visible or invisible in the web store. When you make the item group invisible, items assigned to this item group will be still visible. Only the item group becomes invisible in the web store. If you click on the translations button in the item group name field, uh, you can add the name of the item group in different languages. Simply select the foreign language to which you want to translate the field value and in the translation field, enter the name of the item group in the selected language. And now let's open item master data of any product. So here in the general information area, you can assign the item to the appropriate item group. Item groups can be imported from SAP Business One into Sana Admin to automatically build the main menu of your web store with the products catalog. Only those item groups that are marked in SAP Business One as visible in web store will be imported. This import process will create the main navigation of your web store based on the item groups from SAP Business One, also product sets, uh, product pages, product list pages will be automatically created. The names of the item groups in different languages will be also imported to the navigation items in case of a multilingual web store. From here on, you can start managing your web store catalog and other content.